Hey what's going on guys, in today's video I'm going to show you how to create awesome looking wooden planks in a simple low poly style. Press S on your keyboard and then X to scale your cube on the X axis, Shift D to duplicate, G and Y to move on the Y axis, S and Z to scale on the Z axis, G and Y and S and Y to scale it on the Y axis. Control A to apply scale and rotation. To switch to the edit mode, Control R to add loop cuts and S to scale. 3 to switch to phase selection mode, then press E and X to extrude on the X axis. Press 1 to switch to vertex selection, then select one vertex and Control Shift B to bevel it. Then press 2 and select edge and then control B to bevel it. Select the face, shift D, E to extrude, G to move, Alt left click on the edge, Control B to bevel it, delete faces. Alt left click on the edge and F to fill the hole. So if there's an angle, we cannot add a loop cut with the Control R and we have to select both vertices and press J to connect them. It will add an edge loop between both vertices. Press Z and choose wireframe mode. It will allow you to see through the mesh and select the hidden vertices. Press Z and select solid mode. G to move your edge loop. Press Z and choose wireframe mode. So press K in the edit mode, then C to cut through the mesh and then then apply by pressing enter. Press tab to go to object mode, then select your plank, then press tab again to go to the edit mode, control R to add new loop cuts, then S to scale them down, then control B to bevel your edges. Press 1, shift control B to bevel one vertex, select both vertices and press J to connect them. Press 2 to switch to edge selection mode and bevel some of the edges. Select final plank, go to the edit mode, add loop cuts with Ctrl R, press 3 to switch to face selection mode and then Alt left click to select loops, press 2 and Alt left click select edge loops and then fill with F. You can do the same in a different way. Shift A to add a cube. Move the cube so it matches the, your plank. And then we will use the boolean modifier to do the same cut as we did with, with the previous method. So go to the modifiers, add the boolean modifier, select the newly created cube and then switch to fast and then apply the modifier. Go to the viewport overlays and tick face orientation. Now you can see which faces are inverted. We will have to go to the edit mode and select the inverted meshes and then press shift N to invert the normals. Press K and C to add loop cuts with the knife tool. 
then scale them down. Now you can bevel some of the edges and some of the vertices with Ctrl B and select in between different selection modes with 1, 2 and 3 buttons on your keyboard. Thank you for watching and let me know in the comments section what did you think about this tutorial. Have a good day. Bye.